roots from the fish to create fertilizer for his fields, was always experimenting. American shad are found along the entire east coast of North America, ranging from the St. Johns River in Florida to Labrador. On the west coast, American shad are considered an exotic species, having been introduced at the end of the 19th century. They are now found from Sacramento, California to southern Alaska. Shad are anadromous fish, feeding in the open ocean until maturity, then returning to freshwater rivers to reproduce. The American shad is also a migratory species, moving generally north during the spring and summer, and south during the fall and winter. Some shad travel over 2,000 miles in a single year. A small population of shad winter off the coast of Nova Scotia, moving into the Bay of Fundy, the Gulf of St. Lawrence, and along the coast of Labrador to spawn in summertime. As summer approaches, adult shad from all along the east coast gather in the Gulf of Maine. Large numbers move into the Bay of Fundy, following the coast of Nova Scotia in late spring, and move through the head of the bay through the summer months. As summer turns to fall, the shad move along the coast of New Brunswick as they begin the return trip south. They continue to travel south through the fall. Most spend the winter months feeding in the waters off the mid-Atlantic states. Shad born in southern rivers continue on, arriving in Florida and Georgia in time to spawn in January and February. In the spring, the spawning run then moves steadily up the coast, the Carolinas in March, April in Chesapeake Bay, May and June in the northeast. The northerly migration pattern of American shad varies with the age of the individual fish. Mature adults returning to spawn travel faster and closer to shore, while the juveniles travel more slowly and further offshore as they continue to feed at sea. Spawning adults locate their home region by orienting themselves to ocean currents and changes in water salinity. The exact method by which shad identify their specific home stream is still largely unknown. Research has suggested that the principal homing mechanism may be olfactory in nature. Shad may find their natal stream by recognizing its unique smell. Shad returning to spawn gather in the estuary at the mouth of their home river, waiting for the right conditions. Water temperature is the key factor in determining when shad will make their upstream run. Upstream movement and spawning begin when the water temperature has reached about 54 degrees Fahrenheit and continues until the temperature climbs to 68 degrees, with peak activity occurring at about 65 degrees. Although temperature is the main trigger, water volume flow, water clarity, and the lengthening period of daylight are also factors which affect the timing of the spawning run. Shad spawn in the main stem of rivers in areas of moderate current flow. Spawning occurs at night, beginning at sunset, and continuing until midnight. Since spawning occurs at night, little is known of actual spawning behavior. Most likely, some form of chase is involved, with males swimming in tight circles around the females. Females release their eggs directly into open water as shallow as 3 feet or as deep as 20 feet. Males swimming nearby release milt to fertilize the eggs as they slowly sink. After spawning, shad that have survived the difficult upstream journey in the exhausting process of spawning return downstream almost immediately to rejoin the offshore juveniles 
as they begin their springtime migration through the Gulf of Maine. The number of eggs a female shad will release depends on the river of origin. Southern shad may release over a half million eggs, but will only live to spawn once. Shad on the northern end of the range will release only 100 to 200,000 eggs, but may return to spawn more than once. The average spawning release for a female along the mid-Atlantic coast is between two to 400,000 eggs. Large numbers of eggs are needed to offset intense predation. Both eggs and juvenile stages of shad are eaten by predatory fish, such as bass and pickerel, and birds, such as gulls and cormorants. Offshore, striped bass, porpoises, and sharks will feed on shad as well. Only one out of every 100,000 fertilized eggs will develop into a fish which survives long enough to return to spawn as an adult. After fertilization, the newly laid eggs are carried downstream by the current and hatch in 6 to 12 days depending on water temperature. The eggs hatch to release transparent, thread-like larvae which are slightly less than one half inch long. Larvae feed on microscopic plankton, tiny plants and animals found in the surrounding water. The millions of newly hatched shad larvae are also an important part of the rich mix of plankton found in rivers and estuaries, providing a significant food source for other species in the food chain. When the larvae are about four to six weeks old, they start to develop into the juvenile stage and begin to more closely resemble adult shad. Juvenile shad spend the remaining weeks of summer moving constantly, feeding throughout the water column. By summer's end, the juvenile shad have grown to be about three to four inches in length. As water temperatures begin to drop with the approach of autumn, the young shad begin to move downstream and out into the ocean where they spend the next several years feeding and growing. They remain in the open sea until they become sexually mature at three to five years for males and four to six years for females. For centuries,